Adrian. Great job, boys. That's it, right through. That's it, Adrian. Great work, right through. Let's just see you repeat that with your spikes on, okay? You gotta pretend there's 10 guys around you and you're shoving you around. And you've really only got two or three meters, you know? Make sure you guys just get a little sip of water in between these intervals, okay? Not enough to upset your stomach, but enough to wet your whistle, okay? Mm -hmm. Well, this should be a real confidence booster for you guys because being able to do this workout the way you're working it after racing that hard on residual fatigue from OAs, OAUs, and um, what I really liked was the nice tight turns on those hills, because I think you're going to get them at least four, and, uh, and, and also I want you to think about, you know, on a tight turn like that, if there's three or four guys around you, just pull back a little bit, you know, you can touch them on yeah. down, okay? I actually really noticed that our work going down the downhills. At OUAs, yeah. is that downhill between the two? You're passing everybody over there. Well, I was going so fast that I was, I was almost running over people. Oh, oh wow! <laughs> <laughs> and so yeah, felt like both of you. When you start to get a little bit tired, mm -hmm. you start to slump a little bit. I want yeah. you to think about just getting a little bit taller, rolling those shoulders back a little bit. Yeah. And both of you, <laughs> it's opposite arms. <laughs> sloppy. Your way, your your arms get a little bit sloppy, so. Yeah. Um, Adrian, I think with you it's your left and yeah. Andre with you it's, it's your right. Your right pulls in, so I want you to try and think about this before you know. We'll work more on that as yeah. we start doing, you know, transitioning indoors and start moving it down to the faster events and do some real speed forward. Yeah. But, but yeah, you guys are looking great. Just, yeah, the, the last, <laughs> I'm really excited for you. Last day on the flight, all good. Yeah. Um, Why don't you do a 10 minute warm down and then let's go in. To the, uh, the facility's open, so let's just do a couple minutes of pedal gels for that hip mobility. Yeah. I think you've got time to do it. Um, 10 minutes warm yeah. down, 5 minutes in there, and then a 
couple of strides to finish off the other yeah. Okay? Great job, guys. Hey, okay, yeah. Okay, so the boys are going to do a 10 minute. So this is the typical cool down. They do anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes. Easy 10 today because they both got classes. Then we're going to go in and do finish off with some mobility. So they do hurdle drills for mobility. And then we just finish off with two or three easy strides just to get the feel of the turnover. And, uh, and that finishes their warm down. And then they do quite a bit of stretching and flexibility work on their own and rolling in the evening. Okay? All right, 10 minutes, guys, and we'll wait for you here. Just done a 10 minute warm down. We got a scoop because they got classes, so we're trying to keep this pretty crisp. Um, we're just going to walk up to the track now. They're going to do a bit of vertical mobility for a couple of minutes just to, you know, for the flexibility, particularly with the hips, you know, especially after running on the hills so hard. And then just some strides just to get it out of their leg, get the fluidity back after a hard workout. And then that's it. And then uh, lots of rolling. How are you boys feeling? Alright. Everybody's okay? Yeah. Yeah. This is all part of the standard warm down, particularly in the fall. Uh, we've added hurdle drills just to really make sure that the hip flexibility yeah. is part of, uh, is integrated into the program, particularly for cross country. Yeah. So they're not hurdlers, and I'm not a hurdler coach, but but they've got three different drills, right? That yeah. you guys are doing. So let's just get going. And it also works on their coordination and also allowing them to stay up tall in that dorsiflexion, like which is really, really good for keeping their bodies supple and flexible. Which is going to be important not to race really well just with cross, which they've been shooting the lights out this season, but um, the, making the transition to indoors a lot easier. So this is all part of the standard warm down practice. Do another look at everybody to make sure that the corrections, I've got the corrections. That's great. That must feel good though, eh? After, after running hard? Yeah. The hurdle mobility? Yeah, the hurdle mobility. It does. You know? Andre, stay a little bit taller. Yeah. Uh, I don't even remember if I'm doing this right, actually. I'm one of the coaches with the line. Absolutely, I just want to make sure as long as nothing happens. I apologize to Trevor, I know you guys have something going on. No worries. No worries at all. Everything's much better. Okay. All right. Hurdle drills. Now they're going to do two or three strides just to, you know, just to. It was part of the European program that I looked at with the Scottish national team. They always finish off all of their workouts with two or three strides. You know, it just works on the mobility after a hard workout and just really making them feel really good and feeling that turnover and how nice and smooth it is, even after they've done a hard workout. So nothing hard, yeah. just relax. And on the yeah. track, don't want to lose contact with the track, ever, yeah. even in cross. Just on these strides, I always try to keep them at a lane one, just keep the pressure off their body, particularly on the turning on the band. That's not something that we're working on right now, you know. So taking the pressure off after a hard workout, but just feeling good about the turnover after we finish off the workout. Lots of rolling this evening. 
yeah. you know, some light stretching, you yeah. know, just when you're at home sitting in front of the TV tonight, you know. Casual cup of coffee. Casual cup of coffee, you got it, yeah. <laughs> okay guys, great workout. And I'll see you Saturday morning. So tomorrow, uh, 40 minutes easy, you know, we're kind of taking the you know, the volume down as we start to move close to U-Sport. Don't want to put too much load on your bodies. If you're going to if you're going to put any load, it's going to be on the three up workouts a week and then the long run. So 40s is, 40 is fine. I know that's a lot less than you normally do, but let's just try and really recover so yep. that we can get a great workout in on Saturday. Take Friday off. Okay? Yeah. All right, guys. Great job. Thanks a lot. Yeah.